Oh, there he is. Hey, how are you? Um, did the police teach you how you're supposed to act yesterday, sir? But I'm going to go ahead and just document you educating them, and then I'll be oh, on I'm my way with you. Educated, sir. Yeah, let's yes. not argue. So do what you need to do, and then, and then you need to leave because we have business here, and I need my children. To but come. I don't need to leave, right? So, just let her know. So. I mean, I don't need you to actually. You don't need to record my children, and that is part of the, yes, that is their state custody, and that right. is not yeah. public. So. <clears throat> The day before this, I had come into the Albuquerque, New Mexico CYFD, which is the equivalent of, in other states, they call it CPS, DCFS. They go by different names in different states throughout the U.S., but essentially their role is the same everywhere. Take children from homes, put them into the foster care system, let them go missing, and don't go looking for them. Because for the safety and sake of the children, the people who are abusing and losing them should not be investigated. The U.S. Department of Health audited more than 74,000 cases of missing foster children. Of those 74,000 children, almost half of them were never even reported missing, and about 22% of them were reported late. Of the cases that were reported, the majority had inaccuracies and other data issues. In 2016, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children found that 86% of sex trafficked victims were in the care of social services when they went missing. Let me say that again, 86% of trafficked children came from social services, including foster care, CPS, CYFD. Everyone likes to say that they want to end child trafficking, and then they go after the 15% while turning a blind eye to the majority of the problem. CYFD, CPS, and the foster care system. These organizations use excuses such as the privacy of the children to make sure that there's no photographs of them, and even to prevent their name from being released so that nobody, police or otherwise, have any clue who they're looking for. Living in New Mexico, we're so used to saying like, oh, we can't talk about it's confidential, we can't talk about it's confidential. But Beck says the only way to fix current problems in the system is to talk about them. This is a public health crisis. But these aren't the only problems that plague CYFD. CYFD is the second biggest liability to the entire state of New Mexico, second only to the University of New Mexico Hospital. Earlier this year, they were looking at a shortfall in funds to settle lawsuits filed against them for everything from wrongful death lawsuits of children in their custody, children being sexually abused while in their custody, and so much more. Let me say that again, they've had so many egregious cases of physical abuse, sexual abuse, and wrongful deaths of children that they can't even afford to pay the lawsuits and had to have special money allocated by the governor to cover them. Over the years, as CYFD has continued to decline, senators have proposed legislation to add some oversight and some checks and balances into CYFD's system. But the head of CYFD, Teresa Casados, along with New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, have fought tooth and nail against any kind of oversight, accountability, or transparency for years. They even retaliate against whistleblowers within the agency. They say they were fired after raising concerns over several ethical issues, including the controversial use of the department's message disappearing app. Cliff and Deborah Gilmore, who both have long careers in public relations and child advocacy were recruited to come here last year to move the department forward. They say when they pointed to things that could be fixed, they were retaliated against. The things that we saw happening inside the organization, and when it comes right down to it, they, um, they make things harder for kids rather than helping them. Cliff and Deborah Gilmore describe the culture at the state agency as toxic. Uh, there's gaslighting, um, there's sort of passive aggression, uh, there's moving of goalposts. Cliff was the agency's spokesman, and Deborah was hired as the agency's director of the Office of Children's Rights. Terminated after raising ethical concerns about CYFD's use of Signal, an app used for official department communication, with many discussions set to auto delete after 24 hours. There were entire conversations under threads about legislative strategy and work that are now gone. We were told set it to 24 auto delete. Because if and when we get an IPRA request, we'll have to stop deleting things and start re providing those materials. The answer was to tell me in particular that I was new to the area, that I didn't really understand New Mexico, or that I didn't understand the systems. They say who is hurt most are children and families of New Mexico. The way a leader treats their subordinates becomes the way those subordinates treat the people they serve. 
CYFD tells us tonight, quote, while CYFD appreciates the opportunity to clarify misinformation, CYFD cannot discuss personnel matters or threatened litigation. For decades, CYFD has operated in almost total darkness and secrecy under the guise of trying to protect vulnerable children. But some argue that them being allowed to work in total secrecy and darkness has allowed them to become the biggest child trafficking organization in the history of the world. Maybe somebody should be recording every child that walks in and out of that building. At least that way, when they go missing, we can show the police who it is that they're looking for. The day before this, I had been at CYFD doing an open records request, and as usual, I always record my interactions with my government. Government lies, and if you don't have a recording, it's your word against theirs. These people called the police on me and tried to have me arrested for recording them. They even lied and made false reports to police saying that I was entering restricted areas. The police informed them that the public have every right to record everything they can see from a public space. And that the CYFD lobby is a public space. I came back on this day to make sure that the staff and the security fully understood this so that there would be no further problems with them. Sure enough, they learned absolutely nothing. Oh, there he is. Hey, how are you? Um, did the police teach you how you're supposed to act yesterday? Sure. Sir? Since the security guard seemed to genuinely be under the impression that it was his duty to block our entry into our public building when we're recording, as well as call the police on us to try to have us removed while we're recording, I thought it might be worthwhile to call his supervisor and make sure that he's either retrained or removed from the property. Hello? Hello, is this uh, the supervisor for the Securitas Security? So I can help you, sir. Um, are you the supervisor? Yeah, you called the number, sir. How can I help you? I'm sorry, what was that? Yes, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, do you guys, do you guys take complaints on security officers? Yes, sir. Hi, yes, sir. Go ahead. What you got? As far as him being removed for doing what he was essentially trained to do, there's not much more we can do on that aspect. So you, are you telling me that you trained him to harass people that record their interactions with government? Uh, individuals, auditors, those who claim to come in and when they're in secured areas, when they're not supposed to be, their job is to essentially take your attention, so yes. Really? So, secured areas, you said, right? Yes. Interesting. I'm just going back on the information that I'm now reading currently, given that uh, instance you said yesterday, there was only one other instance that could have happened, and that was in Roswell, so okay. not out there Okay, so your report says that there were people trying, there was, what are they called again? I'm um, just going off the report, and like I said, going off of what you're telling me, there's a lot of blanks I'm filling in, so. But if there was anything else you need for, uh, as far as filing the complaint against this officer, his uh, demeanor and how he responded will be addressed. Okay, uh, and how do I get a copy of that report? <laughs> That's proprietary information, sir. Okay, so you're contracted by the government at this building at least right it's contracted by the state right which is government and so it's not the same as when you're contracted by let's say walmart right a private entity and so are you, are you telling me that i got to go and do an open records request to get his reports his false reports is that what you're telling me uh that's not gonna happen okay well i can tell you this i, I can tell you happen. this i've tried to be nice about what we're doing here and so I'm going to tell you this. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. You can either you, listen, you're not gonna listen get up, any listen up, listen up. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. I'm sorry. The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again. All right, man. Just talk to the supervisor. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do this the hard way, which is legal. It's totally legal, but we're going to do open records requests for all the reports. And we're going to make sure that the uh, public has to step in to make sure this guy's removed from our building. So um, I'm just going to do another open records request. And then we're going to put the story out that Securitas thinks that uh, it's okay for their security guards to abuse, harass, and, and bully people when they come in to do business. So sound good, Brian? 
So of course I'll be peaceful, nonviolent, and within the law as I always have been. Um, but I'm going to go in there and fill out my uh, next public records request for your partner's report. Did you fill out a report yesterday too? Answer any questions about? Not answering any questions. All right, pleading the fifth on that. Trying not to incriminate yourself. Okay. There looks like they're coming out to talk to me. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Oh, I've been better. I, I uh, contacted the security supervisor a few minutes ago. Um, I thought everything was settled. You know, the police came yesterday. They told your security guards, you can't do what you were doing. They have every right to record in a public place. Um, even though we know that we can record anyone in the public place, we were very, very careful not to record any kids okay. and to just point our cameras down. Here's the problem. When I called the security uh, supervisor to talk to him about his partner uh -huh. bullying us, um, acting like a total idiot and asked that he be removed from this, uh, this place. He just talked back to me and said, nope, that's the way it's going to be. If you come in with a camera, he's going to jump in front of your camera. He's going to swat at it. He's going to do all this stuff. And I said, okay, well, you know, I thought we were just going to settle this and get the bad security guard removed and, and that would be it. He doesn't want to do that. Well, this is the deal for me. Okay. My concern are the kids. Here Absolutely. And, and that's why I'm out here instead of inside of there. But right now you got you filmed some of our one of our kids walking in and my the, my employees are getting nervous my families well, are getting nervous quite frankly i'm not worried about your employees your well, your employees can either find another job working in the private sector or not but the kids even the though the kids so if right. you could no i didn't don't, record don't them care. coming in yeah you did no i didn't well no i didn't i'm asking you understand you. how recording works right yeah. it's yeah. on record we didn't come here to argue with you I'm, okay I'm then don't argue with me you to leave well, I'm, don't argue with me then. I have to fill out another records request now for the report that was filed yesterday. I'm asking you to leave. For the I'm asking you to leave. Okay, well, I'm uh, back you are being requested by CYFD to leave. I'm asking you to leave. Well, I'm going back to my office, so I am, but I'm asking you to please leave the property. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, like I told you, Brian, I'm going to sit outside to fill out the records request and then come back in and hand it to you. You have to contact APD now since you have, to, you have been requested to leave by... They told staff. you yesterday that they cannot request me to leave. It's a public entity, a public building. You've been told, man... Look, man, Brian, if you want to if you want to go that route, you do whatever you got to do and I'll do whatever I got to do, Sounds right? Good, sir. All right. I'm going to sit out here, I'm going to fill out my request, and I'll bring it in when I'm done, okay, boss? I'm just letting you know, I'm not asking. I, I, I'm not, a, you're, uh, that, and you know what? That'll result in a lawsuit for him. For you, Securitas, as well as CYFD, again. You have been requested to leave, sir, by staff, so. What's that? Now that you won't leave, I'm out to contact. You know CYFD pays more in lawsuits than any other entity in the state of New Mexico? because of what you guys are doing to kids, and then you sit here and tell me you're worried about the kids? You're only worried about yourself. They get paid $25,000 a kid. You ain't worried about the kids, you're worried about yourself. State police arrived right as I finished writing up my records request and went inside to turn it in. The security guard tried to physically block my entry into my building. Go turn right. this in. You can't come inside, man. Uh, What's that? Are you blocking? Yeah, my they're way? still up here. You blocking me from turning in a records request? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Good. How are you? I mean, not bad. He's trying to block me from going in to do my business. So if you could just move him aside. He was. So if you can just move him aside, so I can go turn in my records request. I'll be on my way. Okay. Uh, and you're not filming any children? No, of course not. Okay. Now, no, listen to this. Yeah. It would be legal, but I'm not. That's not what I'm here for, yeah. and that's not what I'm. But you know it would be legal. You are. I mean, if any yeah. kids come across here, your body cam's going to catch them. I put my camera down like that. Yeah. Does that make sense? We know it's legal, yeah. but I'm not. Yeah. That's not what it's about. It's about yeah. them, and they know it. Okay. So you're just trying to turn this yeah. in at the front window? Yeah. Okay. And, and if you could tell them to stop doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, we went through our legal and everything, just so you guys know. So he has the legal right to be here. Okay, well he was told, he was requested by Romain um, to leave the property. So um, I, so I'm just I'm just letting you know, we went through our legal, uh, he has the legal right to be here. Um, he's not committing any crime. But apparently he reported, it, he was reported he recorded some of the children when they were coming inside. So unless the, you guys can prove that, there's nothing 
Oh, I mean, he had his camera up angled and then some of the children walked in. Yeah. So, uh, and I mean, it's just so the way it works for, for that stuff too, as long as he's not like posting it, selling it, things like that. It's where, that's where it gets illegal. Like if he was trying to sell it, uh, post it for pornography purposes, things okay. like of that nature. Um, yeah, so. I mean, if it was said yeah. by you, if it's cool with yeah. you, yeah. So, so I've already, like our, uh, I got this from our uppers, like okay. people that were above me and everything, and then they went through our legal and all that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah Unless he's committing some sort of crime, uh, which, to my knowledge, he's not. Uh, you know, it's all uh, we'd have to prove it and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so there's no, like, yeah. So right, right. it's a yeah, it's a public state building, so he's allowed to, he's allowed to record. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so just like if we were. If I was conducting a traffic stop or an investigation, as long as it's not interfering with it, there's nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I guess I'll let the bosses know that. Yeah. You, you so, and if they if they want to uh, call our offices, they can ask for a supervisor. And uh, so it was told to me from the, uh, our supervisors already. So. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Okay, that works. Sir. Right. Can, we, can we make sure this gets settled with all of your supervisors, too? Because here, here's the thing. I'm just here doing a records request today, but I've, I've heard from a number of people who were trying to document their interactions with CYFD because they're, they're having their children stolen from them, they believe wrongfully, and they've been threatened by CYFD investigators for recording them. And so I need to make really sure to establish here and today, and that we don't have to come back, because I was here yesterday, right? And you called the police. They told you not to, do, not to call them again. I'm here again today. You called the police again. We need to make sure that this is, this is solidly established, that anyone has the right to come in here and record their interactions with their government. And the whole point, I mean, I know you guys are trying to pretend, oh, you're trying to protect the children. Well, CYFD has lost a lot of children, just disappeared. You know that, right? Right? You know that 80% of children who are trafficked come from the uh, foster care system in the United States, right? So don't act like you're the one trying to protect the children, right? That's just, you know, that's a cop-out. It's all about the kids, you know, it's, so anyways. He's just trying to do the you, you know, and he, he was yesterday, but he wasn't today. He was, he was trying to be rude, he was trying to be nasty, and, and so, um, and you know what, again, even if he's just trying to do his job, let's make it clear, because it was, it was told to him yesterday what his job was, and his job was to let us do this, and he called the police again. So how many times, what I'm trying to say is I need to make sure this is the last time I have to come here. So who else do we need to talk to right now to make sure they understand perfectly clearly that this harassment of people like myself and others is, is not acceptable and, and you gotta stop? Who else do we need to talk to? So, and I'll, <coughs> I'll let them know in there too. Yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and just document you educating them, and then I'll be uh, on my way with you. Educated, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you so much. When you're when you're making my clients and my kids and your videos <coughs> my kids, you're making them uncomfortable, sir. So I know this is a public official in a public building, but those kids are are, are not to be video received, and that's making them uneasy. Well, and how come some of the resource parents, as well as the buyer parents, that come to do their business? Did you say the buyer parents. So he's just here turning in his paper. Uh, mm -hmm. He can record when he's coming in to do it and stuff. Um, I mean, but he can't record my kids. That's so. my. Those are the kids that are in the state custody that I have not signed permission for you to record them. So that no, that's not appropriate. You can. You're right. This is a public building, and you have that right. But you don't have the right to to, to videotape our kids that are in custody. You're that's a security. And safety issues sir. your virtue signaling so. doesn't affect me you guys I, lose children i don't so it, it, I'm not let's not do with you. The, yeah, yeah let's not do the argument yeah let's yeah. not so argue do what you need to do and then and then you need to leave because we have business here and i need my children but i don't out. need to leave right so, just let her know so. i mean i don't you need to actually don't leave. need to record my children and that is part of the yes that is they're in state custody and that right. is not yeah. public so <clears throat> so he's not allowed back there their area and stuff, yes. which he's not trying to get back there. Yes. Yeah, so you just go Turn his paperwork yeah. and do what he needs to do, and then, yeah. yes. What? And then move forward. Yes, but you don't record my kids. My kids are in state custody. What? So it's, it's a thin line. So I've already, I, 
I've already talked to my supervisor and stuff, so he's allowed to be here. He can be recording. Um, he's not trying to get back there as long as he's not doing anything uh, illegal, like breaking stuff. He's not like during regular business hours. He can. He can have record my kids, so that needs to be so, their state yeah. custody. And so I, I mean, so I, I get what you're saying, but yes. that's all. Like if you if you wanna uh, go down to the courts and do that, and then if they say that, you know, that's a totally different thing. Yes. But like as far as being here and stuff, we could go along the lines of while he's here. It's your job to keep them back there in the whole area that you have. You see but they're getting so, dropped off from schools, sir. This so, is our but, point but of I, contact. So, like, like right now, I'm recording. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it's like the same thing, and my stuff can be here for a request. Of course, okay. Of course. So it's all, you know, it's public building. So that's yeah. all. It goes uh, okay. right okay. Over okay. There. Okay. So, And I have kids back in the house. Yeah, we just bring our kids out of here. So. Cool. You trying to get them out of there? Let's. Let's do this, but she needs to understand that I can stand here all day. So if we so, so we have we have children. Yes. Oh, where'd you steal them from? So we have children. Did you lose any? Did you lose any? Did you lose any? Thank you, sir. We need to get our children out, please. Your children? Yeah. See You birthed them, or did you just steal them? Sir, I'm not going to get into a game of semantics. Oh. We need to get our kids out. Of Are the they room. going from this door to this door? Sir, we just need to get our kids yeah, out. Yeah, and so I'm trying to ask you where they're going so I can turn the camera the other way. Well, if you just turn it that way, will we get our children out? Okay, sure, no problem. Thank you. Yep. Hey, he's got a camera on too. Why aren't you yelling at him? No one's yelling, sir. No one's yelling. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Yes, sir. Just need to turn in an open records request. Okay. I will forward this to my point of contact in Santa Fe. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Could I get your name? My name is Nicholas. Nicholas, I'm James. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. James, you have a great day. You too. I, I don't think they get it. And I need them to get it. See, it's not about the kids. You're trying to hide your own face. It was never about the kids. It's about your selfish desires. There are no problems. Okay. Thank you. I'll talk to you all I want. Can I have children come in? Please turn the camera that it's way. It's not Thank about you. them. It's about yeah, you. I have 